miss you. Tonight, a world exclusive. I thought I could do something to bring her back. That's exactly what I do. The interview everyone is talking about. I know I did the best I could. Whitney Houston's mom. I'm very proud of my daughter. Speaking out for the first time since her daughter's death. Mom to mom, anything you could have done differently? Who she blames and the anger inside. I think they know everything, but that's not true. It's a My Nine exclusive. The interview everyone wanted. It's the interview we got. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brenda Blackman. And I'm Harry Martin. We begin with the greatest love of all, a mother's love for her child. You're about to meet a portrait and courage. Dr. Sissy Houston, a gospel legend, but first and foremost, a mom. Of course, she is still hurting. She's still grieving at the loss of her only daughter. But now she says that she is ready to sing again, ready to put her own beautiful voice out there. She was gracious enough to sit down with us and talk about her love for her daughter, her grief, and yes, her anger. It's the first time we've seen Sissy since walking down the aisle at her daughter's funeral. I don't want to remember that, but can't seem to forget it. Bitter sweet memories. No matter the age, losing a child is the worst thing any parent can go through. For Sissy Houston, the pain is still all too raw. I miss her. That's all. For the first time since her daughter's death, Sissy Houston is speaking out. She sat down with me in the same place where just a few weeks earlier, the world mourned her child. Newark's New Hope Baptist Church. I'm very proud of my daughter. She's accomplished a great deal in the short time that she's had here. I'm proud of her for a lot of things. She, she was a very wonderful person. Sissy Houston has been a faithful member of New Hope since 1953. She raised Whitney here. At this church, Whitney sang as an 11-year-old child. For Sissy, it's a special place. Just remember And it is here where Sissy still sings today. Music so important to her, to her entire family, including her niece, Dionne Warwick. The entire family will reunite in May for the first time since Whitney's death. They will perform a special tribute to Whitney at this year's McDonald's Gospel Fest at the Prudential Center in Newark. Sissy was able to come back to New Hope four weeks after her daughter's funeral. She says it helps. I'm a true believer of God, and I know he works by his own. If I thought I could do something to bring her back, that's exactly what I'd do, but I know that's impossible. As Sissy watched her daughter grow up, become a star, she knew with that stardom there may be trouble and addictions. But for Sissy, as a mom, no regrets. I don't blame me for anything because I know I did the best I could for everything. Mom to mom, anything you could have done differently? Not really because my children are my whole life. She was very special to me, very special. She's my only daughter and uh, a good one, very good. She looked out for her family. Sissy Houston won't talk about the night Whitney died or the way she found out. But she says that the way things were portrayed days following her daughter's death, simply unfair. The media is awful. People have come from here and then don't know what they're talking about, you know. People I haven't seen in 20 years or whatever, here they come. Think they know everything, but that's not true, so. You know, but God got his way of taking care of all of it. And I'm glad I know that. Sissy told me she's not an angry person, but admits that the things being said in the tabloids and on TV did stir an emotion in her. These people don't know anything about her. All they know is what they hear, what they, bad things. You know, she's had her ups and downs. Like who hasn't? Sissy says she tried not to watch TV following Whitney's death, but sometimes 
she couldn't escape it. They really chopped on her, chopped on her, chopped and kept, kept, kept. I, one time I had thought about coming on there really sucking, but I know my temper. I mean, let them say and think what they want to say. I just hope they never come and say it to me. <laughs> because then you can be angry. Oh, baby, you have news then. <laughs> As for Whitney's life, her troubled marriage to Bobby Brown, the addictions, her apparent relapse, and her death, Sissy isn't looking to point fingers. You know, nothing I can do about it. Nothing nobody else can do about it. Sissy Houston is a private person, spiritual. When I ask her about recent headlines, Bobby and Whitney remarrying, her granddaughter Bobby Christina linked to Nick Gordon, who many say is like a brother to Bobby Christina, and the now infamous photo inside the funeral home. To all of it, Sissy scoffed. I don't look at that mess. And then there were the rumors that Whitney died broke. She's not broke. She's not anything. None of that crap. It was a rare glimpse of anger for a woman very much under control. Love will still prevail. Sissy and I walked around New Hope. We looked at places where Whitney sang, where Whitney played, where Whitney grew up. It brought back a lot of memories and stirred a lot of emotions. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm no courageous, no more courageous than anybody else. Believe me when I tell you. I have my moments. I'm not there yet. I haven't gotten angry yet. I might. Do you still hear her talking to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. And while Whitney's funeral is a day she would like to forget, she said it was also a day that lifted her up. Everybody's been so wonderful. Everybody's been so wonderful. I must say that. I'd like to thank all the people who sent cards and checks and all of that kind of thing. I got all kind from all over the world. So people, who, I mean, white, black, every color you could name was out there. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. It really was. It made me feel very good. And I thank him with all my heart. Sissy is back in church, back singing, and ready to share her own beautiful voice with the world again. The river is deep. And Sissy is ready to debut her newest song, Walk On by Faith. She shared some of the words that seem so appropriate to what she has been through. You can't see in the future. You can't see through dark clouds. You can't see all the pitfalls. So walk on by faith each day. And that's what Sissy Houston does. Her faith keeps her going. No regrets from a mom whose daughter had so much and left us too soon. She was so beautiful. She was that she had it all. Sissy Houston, clearly still grieving, but getting better and stronger every day. And as you can see, she takes great pride in Whitney's amazing legacy. You know, your heart really goes out to her as a parent, as a mom, fellow, a mom to mom. Um, she seems to be taking her grief one day at a time. Um, what, what about her granddaughter? What about... Um Whitney Houston's daughter. Well, when it comes to Bobby Christina, I did ask her about Bobby Christina, and she mm. says she's very protective of her family and especially that granddaughter. All she would tell us is that she is doing great, and that's good news to hear. That is good news to hear. So what about the entire family? What can you tell us about the entire family? Are they, are they getting back together? Is there going to be kind of a reunion at Gospel Fest? Well, when it comes to McDonald's Gospel Fest, they will all be there. And, of course, this is going to be really special, yeah. Harry, because, of course, the Gospel Fest is going to happen to fall on Mother's Day weekend. It will be the first mm. Mother's Day that Miss Houston will not have her daughter and Bobby Christina will not have her mom. So the entire community will be at the Prudential Center in Newark, in New Jersey, and they will be able to wrap their arms around not only those two, but the entire Houston family will be there, except for Michael. He's going to his daughter's graduation, so he won't be there that day. But the entire family will be there. And if you or any of the viewers are interested in attending McDonald's Gospel Fest on May 12th, they can find more information about tickets by logging onto our website, My9TV. 
Sounds like a great Mother's Day present. Yes, indeed. Brenda, so hint, was, hint, Harry. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> that was great work. Really, a Thanks really so insightful much. interview with her. Uh, and for anyone who'd like to see the interview again, it's well worth your time. Or if you'd like to tell a friend about it, we have posted it on our homepage on my9tv.com.